The International Business Times is reporting on a story that's a devastating blow to Hillary Clinton. They say the following, quote, When Hillary voted to authorize the war in Iraq in 2002, she justified her support of the invasion as a way to protect America's national security. But less than a decade later, as Secretary of State, Clinton promoted the war-torn country as a place where American corporations could make big money. Quote, It's time for the United States to start thinking of Iraq as a business opportunity. She said in a 2011 speech, the quote was included in an email released by the State Department on Wednesday that specifically mentioned J.P. Morgan and ExxonMobil. J.P. Morgan was selected by the U.S. government to run a key import-export bank in Iraq and in 2013 uh, announced plans to expand its operation in the country. ExxonMobil signed a deal to redevelop Iraqi oil fields. J.P. Morgan has collectively paid the Clintons and the Clinton Foundation at least $450,000 for speeches, and ExxonMobil has donated over $1 million to the family's foundation. A Clinton staffer, Tom Nides, uh, hosted an event, quote, on investing in Iraq with senior executives from 30 U.S. companies and senior representatives from the U.S. and Iraqi governments. Oh, boy. So, in other words, the main thing that you fear about the Clinton family is true. And that is that they are the epitome of an establishment elitist family. They have connections in government, they have connections in business, and they're working tirelessly to connect the two and be involved in the circle jerk of cash and power. No, guys, this is incredible. See, what this proves is that the stuff that everybody was saying right in the middle of the Bush years about how, well, the war is really about oil and natural resources and imperialism and multinational corporations, all that is totally true. And here you have an establishment Democrat saying, of course that's true, and I'm even taking part in it. I'm calling my buddies at J.P. Morgan and ExxonMobil and saying... Yeah, we illegally invaded a country, we waged an offensive war, but you guys, look at this as a business opportunity, man. I mean, this is criminal shit. This is the height of immorality. This is as unethical as it gets. And then, of course, you see exactly why that is. Because uh, they got $450,000 for speeches just from those two corporations, J.P. Morgan and ExxonMobil. Oh, I'm sorry, one of them was 450000 and the other one gave a million dollars to the foundation. No, this is, this is inexcusable, and you can't have this person as president. You can't have this person be in any position of power. This is the kind of corruption, this is the kind of bribery that liberals and progressives rail against on a daily basis. And guess what? It's not just the Republicans doing it. Don't get me wrong, they are doing it, and they're doing it virtually across the board. But the establishment Democrats are just as bad on this issue. Now, don't get me wrong, Hillary Clinton on some of the social issues is better, kind of. There's a new email that came out how she hated the idea of changing mother and father on certificates to parent one and parent two for gay people. So she's somewhat better on social issues. But in terms of economics and in terms of will she look out for the middle class and the poor and crack down on the rich? No! Absolutely not! I mean, Moral character is standing up and saying, when you saw the debacle of the war in Iraq going on, this is horrible, there's no rational justification for this, this isn't for self-defense, this isn't for national security, we are the aggressor, look at all the civilians we're killing, let's get out of there. But the thing is, even when we learned that all the reasons and the rationalizations and the justifications for the war are bullshit, that's not what Clinton was doing. Clinton was sending emails to her buddies in big business going, let's get rich off this. This is a deeply immoral person. This is a person who's not going to question the system. This is a person who's not going to change the system. This is a person who is the epitome of the system. This is somebody who is deeply corrupt, deeply unethical, deeply immoral, and in no way, shape, or form should represent the Democratic Party. I mean, we're the people that have the base that actually cares about rational priorities. We actually care about the middle class and the poor. We care about not fighting ridiculous wars. And what, we're going to pick Hillary Clinton to, to lead us and lead the country after this? When she's basically telling us, hey, I'm, yeah, I'm part of the neocon circle jerk. I'm with them. Okay, wage the offensive war and then we'll get rich off of it. 
Military industrial complex all day long. I love the military industrial complex. So not only do you recognize it and not do anything about it, as some shitty establishment Democrats do, you're actually participating in it. You like it. You like it. If your choices are this and somebody like Bernie Sanders, who's consistently opposed every war, it's not even really a choice 